What is up, Neophytes? My name's Alan, aka Neocrypto, and welcome back to uh, another tutorial, guys. Today, I am proud to show you, or I plan on showing you, how to set up a portal on G Server. Wait, no, strike that. Reverse it. <laughs> how to set up a server on G Portal, uh, which is my new host, and I'm very pleased with them. They are exceptional. Um, I, I cannot praise them enough and that's not just me saying that because they're hosting my server for free but that is because they are honestly the best server company I have ever worked with uh, zero lag on my arc servers everything starts up super fast it, it, it's exceptional uh, to give you guys a little bit of background they are new to the North American market they have been on the European side for a very long time um, they're the official hosts of Conan, Citadel, Forge with Fire, Rook, Scum, Farming Simulator. I didn't even know Farming Simulator was a game you could play on a server, so that's kind of different to me. But hey, let's let's go with it, right? <laughs> uh, also, they have been the official host for the Battlefield series since Battlefield 3. So that is pretty big deal if you ask me. All those, well, okay, Battlefield 3 was the last Battlefield I actually ever really played. But I, I used to love that series. Uh, Conan, obviously, you know I played that. So Dodo, I've been playing around with that. So yeah, uh, beyond that, guys, they are also one of the one of three worldwide that are able to host PS4 Arc servers. So that's a pretty big deal right there as well, if you ask me. Uh, they're also working on relations with over 40 different game developer studios for upcoming titles within the next two years. So that's uh, yeah, they're always on the move. They're always looking to improve what they offer. They're always looking to improve their service, their hardware, everything. They have the gamer in mind, which is phenomenal. Uh, anyway, guys, so yeah, what I want to do today is I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up an Arc PS4 server uh, and uh, kind of explain the service, how it works, because some of the aspects of it do work a little bit differently than you may be accustomed to. Uh, it actually took me a little bit of time to get used to their servers myself. It's not bad and it's not horrible, but it is just different and some of the things they do I really like and I really like a lot and it makes a lot of sense anyway I'm going to jump over to the G portal homepage and we will start this tutorial out all right guys here we are on G portal which is for the US site is www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.
Uh, it's something to do with the way Chrome handles the dynamic refresh. And there's a lawnmower outside. And fall. Why? All right, now that the window is shut. Uh, <laughs> sorry if you guys heard the lawnmower. I do apologize. Anyway, so what? say uh, like right here, let's uh, say we want to add a server. Uh, we can go ahead and go to add server add to ps4 now this step is optional if you're just renting a server from the beginning you will set all this up during the process of you know your initial setup so you know we'll, we're going to go with arc ps4 we're going to assign 20 slots to it and let's go ahead and click create server and now that server will start popping up here as you can see there is a status bar showing the progress of installing the server and also as you see it is going pretty quick uh, I really, really cannot stress enough how quickly their servers start up. Even for, even the install process seems to not take nearly as long as it does on other service providers I have worked with in the past, which is really cool, really handy. Uh, I am going to go ahead and pause here until this is done, and then we'll get into the meat and potatoes of actually setting up the server. Okay, we are up, we are golden, we are good to go. So let's go ahead and click into our server here. And on this page, you see the status of the server, you know, how much CPU, how much RAM it's using. By the way, just to let you guys know, uh, RAM is dependent on the amount of slots you have. They are actually very generous with uh, how much RAM they give you in comparison to a lot of server hosts I've seen. Uh, so I, I've not had any RAM issues at all, even running heavily modded Arc servers. So it's pretty cool. Uh, every time you increase the amount of slots on your server, it retroactively increases the amount of RAM that you have access to. So it is pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, you have the status of your server here. Last time it was updated, the name, IP address, all of that. Uh, over here, you have your basic settings, which covers pretty much everything for Arc. Everything. You have your slot count. You have what map you're running, Center, Scorched Earth, Ragnarok, uh, procedurally generated. You know, whatever you so choose. Um, the total conversion mods, which is Primitive Plus right now, and that's about it. You can select a specific save game to start with. So say uh, you're playing on the server and somebody does something that just like breaks the server. Like <clears throat> we need some basilisk sources reading <clears throat> over the weekend <clears throat> on accident. <clears throat> I don't know anybody that would do that. No, but <laughs> you'd be able to easily just go in and select a save from right before that. Uh, the overpopulation of basilisk sources makes that reach out of the map unplayable uh, and just you know start over from there uh you have your server passwords your admin passwords you know your I, your kick idle players all the settings all the settings you could ever want difficulty offset overrides all of it right here most of them very easy little check boxes you know few input boxes for like uh you know, anything that requires numerical value uh, but all the settings right here on the front on the basic settings page which is brilliant uh, but say you're like me and you like to tweak things a little bit more personally. You live within the I and I files, like I so often do. Well, that's pretty easy too. You won't have them to very, at the very start because you do need to start your server. So let's go ahead and start it up real quick so it can generate those I and I files. And boom, did you see that? How quickly that started? Wasn't that freaking amazing? I'm just saying that was freaking amazing. Uh, now if we go over to configuration files. Uh, you have, if we select a file, you have your game diet the INI in your game user settings. So, you know, we can just do that, load it up, and you have all your INI settings right here. You can adjust them as you, well, you know, as you please. And uh, yeah, to apply them, all you literally have to do is restart the server after you click save. So we can go in, let's go back into that one, and say, what do we want to adjust here? Um, I don't think it's done generating the INI. Hold on, hold that thought. Hold all right, so let's uh, let's say we just want to, I don't know, change the join notifications from false to true. It's easy as typing in true, clicking save, and now, you know, all you gotta do is come up here, restart the server, and it's gonna reload, and join notifications will be on. So every time somebody joins the server, you'll know it. Pretty handy, right? Cool. So. Moving on, the other the other tabs here, system, we have your the ability to say schedule restarts for updates and things like that. So let's go with day, let's go with uh, yeah, midnight, CST, why not? That works for me. 
and we're going to go daily restart for a tag just this isn't really necessary this is for your own record keeping purposes so let's go ahead and just call that the daily restart click save and now every day at midnight uh on you know central standard time this server would reboot uh for updates and making sure everything's fresh and going uh over here under auto update you can tell it to auto update here you can activate auto update option which will restart your game server automatically when there's a new game update pretty cool pretty handy of course you have your backup so uh by the way they give you 50 gigabytes 50 gigabytes for storage for backups that is brilliant um that is quite a lot of backup space right there so that's something uh, that's standard with every server every account uh doesn't matter how much you know how many slots you can only buy you know if you only bought 10 slots for a server well you still get 50 gigabytes of backup space pretty pretty freaking phenomenal all right so let's see here what else do we want to cover let's go ahead and go to the back the permission system okay so say you have a buddy that you trust that you want to uh be your admin when you're not on uh you know you can if they have a G Portal account, which is free to create, so even if they're not a G Portal customer, they just need to go to the site, make an account, then you would type in their username here, and you would get access. Uh, you would get access, or they, random rather, would have access to your server backend so they can restart it, adjust the options, whatever needs to be done. Um, and it will show up here under my servers. So, you know, as you can see here, here are my two servers. We have the Arc PS4 server that I just created. Uh, my uh, fan server, by the way, if you guys are not on my fan server, it is free. Check the links down below, join Discord, and learn how to join. Shameless plug. <laughs> anyway, but if you look down here under the permissions area, uh, these are two of the GE servers I currently have access to to adjust things as, you know, reboot them, install, update mods, all that handy stuff right there. Okay, so that's where we show up. That's what I was trying to say. So, okay, let's move on. So let's say we have, yeah, we have our ARC server here, but we want to play seven days to die for the weekend. Yeah, we can, we can do that. We can do that. We can just go ahead and say, go into settings here. We can drop this down to uh, 10 slots, which is the minimum for an ARC server and click save. And now it's going to adjust those slots, bam. So we have 10 slots now for that server and uh, 10 slots free. It tells you up here how many slots you have available. Uh, we can now just go to add a server, go to seven days to die and select 10 slots, create a server and boom. Now we'll have a seven days to die server. Pretty cool, right? And if you click into that, you know, you have all your basic settings for seven days to die, which uh, if I remember right, it's not a whole lot. You have your game name and uh, all that happy stuff right there. All right, guys, so uh, one thing I realized uh, after the fact that I forgot to touch on, which I really need to touch on, is how to install mods. Now, obviously, I don't think PS4 has mods. If if they do, someone correct me in the comments down below. But uh, so on for PC, um, if you're setting up a PC Arc server, you know, you have all the same things I showed you, but you also have this mods page. If you go over to the mods page, you can say search for the mod you want. Let's say, oh, I don't know. Let's go NPC Bush people. And you can see all the various NPC, you know, Bush people mods that there are. You can search for any mod you want. It links directly to the workshop. And then all you need to do is click add over here. And now it's over here on the installed mod section. Now it's not really installed. You have to run up your server at least once for it to actually update. As you can see right there, it says updating. And now it says starting. So that means it's already downloaded the mod. And now all you need to do is stop the server again. And now I would recommend if you're doing a mod list to do all your mods at the same time. Uh, otherwise it would get very tedious. But now if you go back over here to basic settings and you scroll down a little bit <clears throat> to here, you will see the mod settings. Uh, right now we have NPC Bush people available. Any mod that you install on the uh, that other page will show up here as available. 
and then you drag and drop it over to selected mods this means it'll be active on the server this is also how you uh, do your load order I mean yes obviously you can do your mod load order via the INI as usual but you can do it right here just simply by dragging and dropping things in the order you want then all you gotta do is click save and start the server and that mod will now be running on the server so it is as simple as that, but it, is, it did take me a little bit to get used to because it is much different than any other mod um, or any other server host I've ever used as far as mods go. But again, it is pretty easy. So yeah, definitely uh, definitely cool because it does let you have the uh, some mods downloaded. So say you have, I don't know, some special mod for some event that you want to run on your server, but you don't want to install it until the day of the event. Well, you can go ahead and get it prepared by having it downloaded and then you know set to uh you can add it over here for the next restart and then when restart happens that mod will be active on the server that same thing goes you can go you know after the event's over just drag it over and if you have set it up to automatically restart at a certain time each day or whatever schedule uh, on the restart that mod will be uninstalled from the server so it's very handy it's very flexible uh lets you do several cool things all right that is it now back to the rest of the tutorial currently in progress so yeah it, the g portal is a very good service guys i really really uh recommend you guys checking them out if you're in the market for an arc server which with aberration coming up eventually question mark it's been delayed until december now uh, but uh, with Aberration coming up, if you guys are looking for a server, definitely check these guys out. Uh, I have a link down below that will save you 5% on a server uh, if you guys decide to check them out. It also helps me out a little bit as well. Um, and then over here, but if you look on the front page right now, there is a 10% discount on pre-orders of the Aberration server. So you can go in, pre-order a server for Aberration, and uh, the day Aberration releases, it'll be up and ready for you to jump on. Uh, pretty cool, pretty handy. It's a great deal. If you guys are in the market for an ARC server, a Citadel server, Conan server, Seven Days to Die server, 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 go check out G Portal. Seriously, I cannot rep these guys enough. They are really great. Uh, great community. Their support is top notch. Their servers use great, great hardware. I mean, like when I say no lag, every ARC server I've ever played on, ever played on, uh, when the server saves, there's always a little bit of rubber banding, a little bit of rubber banding. You get snapped back. That doesn't happen. I have not seen that on any of our G portal servers. My, my modded server, our other GE servers, none of that. It's just smooth as smooth as silk guys. Really? Uh, if, if you, if you want to test it out for yourself, like I said, join my fan server, have a, have a play, run around, enjoy, and, uh, see for yourself how good G portal is. All right, guys, that really does it for this tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything, feel free, comments down below. I will be more than happy to help you guys out. Until next time, guys, this is Neo, and I'll see you in game. Bye.